Hello, Mike Harris from Golf Monthly, and you join me here on the lovely range at Dom Pedro Victoria out in Portugal. Uh, a little video today about the essential things you need to have in your golf bag. Well, of course, you need 14 golf clubs. No more, of course. You can have fewer, but no more than 14. But what are the things you really need to help you get round uh, around a golf on the golf course? Well, let's go through the pockets. Front pocket, uh, I've got my gloves. So new glove ready to go, always nice to put a new glove on, you're playing a medal or something like that. But what happens if it rains? Well, uh, it can get pretty rubbish in, in the UK. It's lovely out in Portugal, but I think a rain glove is really ideal. It's a pair of rain gloves, and it really does give you really good grip when you're uh, playing in really atrocious conditions. You want to keep on playing. I think a, a rain grip glove is absolutely essential. I also carry in my bag a selection of older gloves keep it in a little uh, Ziploc freezer bag there. Uh, and they're gloves that I sort of practice with. We don't always want to use a new glove to practice with. Or equally, if it's rainy a little bit, or perhaps if it's really hot and you've got sweaty hands and you want to change gloves, change them maybe every sort of two or three holes and say, they're not, you know, they're not brand new, they're not pristine, but they keep fresh in this uh, little freezer bag here. But I keep all my gloves down in this front compartment. It's coming back here pretty sunny today so perhaps you'd want your want your cap on particularly if like me you haven't got a lot of hair you want to protect your head um, I also carry a spare towel in my bag particularly if it's going to be wet weather day uh, your regular bag towel might be absolutely soaked after nine holes keeping a spare bag keeping a spare towel in your bag means you can dry off your grips keep your gear dry even if it really is tipping it down and you feel pretty wet through after nine holes what else have I got in here? Well, uh, like a little sort of mid-layer. Say it um, starts to rain a little bit, you don't want to wear a waterproof jacket all the way around. A little mid-layer that just sort of folds down in your bag, I think is really, really good to keep in the changeable weather. Uh, of course, if it's raining, the bag hood there, be able to put over, keep the clubs dry. Moving around into the back pocket. Rules of golf, really every golfer needs to know the rules. We don't always know all of them, but it's if you come across an unusual situation that you've either you find yourself in or your playing partner finds yourself in, rather than not knowing, just by having the rules of golf, you're able to refer to them, hopefully find the right decision or right scenario and be able to play on. Um, sun cream, again, really, really important. Play golf uh, in the summer in the UK, it does get hot. Uh, really, really high levels of uh, radiation. So sun cream, factor 30, slop it on. I really like this one, it's a sort of spray, so you don't have to um, get cream all over your hands. And certainly if you are wiping in cream when you've uh, sprayed it on, try and use your glove hand. Again, it stops your grips from getting all gunky. Um, sunglasses, perhaps, if it's, uh, if it's really sunny. Uh, and then, in my tote bag here, I like a little tote bag, keep all your sort of bits and bobs in. This one's from Golf National, Ryder Cup venue. What have we got in here? Pencil uh, for marking your scores. Um, I've got tees. I like a wooden tee, nice white wooden tee. What else have we got in here? Uh, pitch mark repairer. Everyone should repair their pitch marks and probably a couple of others that other people have left out there. Uh, keep the course in good condition. This one's actually got little ball marker that comes in and out there. There's a lot of people always sort of uh, scratching around looking for a ball marker. I've got two or three in here, so I can normally lend you one if we're playing together and you've forgot yours. Uh, and also um, Sharpie pen as well for marking your ball. Really important that you identify your own ball. Also, what have I got in here? Um, a little club cleaner. It's cost me three pounds, absolutely invaluable for getting gunk out of the grooves uh, if you've got it a little bit heavy. Uh, we just want to keep the clubs clean during the round. Just able to use a little brush there. Not sure really like the ones that hang off the side of your, your bag, but this one, say it cost me three quid from the pro shop. Absolutely ideal for, for keeping your clubs in good order. Keep those grooves nice and clean, get maximum spin. Um, what do we got in here then? Golf balls. Uh, obviously you're going to need a, a supply of golf balls during the round. Um, Mine are Titleist Pro V1 X's with a special play number of 
85 signifies the last time my football club Everton uh, were doing quite well a few years ago and I put a little blue dot on it there again just to make sure I can identify my ball if I've hit it into the rough searching around for it I know what ball I'm playing my opponents know what ball I'm playing if you're liking this video remember to hit the thumbs up give this a like and also a little competition for you so my special play number is 85 I'm going to ask our friends at Titleist to make up a dozen of a special play number for the winner. So tell us what would be your special play number. It can be anything uh, from 1 to 99. Let us know. Comment below. We'll pick uh, one of the comments and get a dozen balls uh, Titleist Pro V1 to you with your special play number on. So moving back here. Water. Need to keep hydrated on the course. A lot of people like fizzy drinks or sports drinks. I actually just like water. Uh, I think if you're going to drink something like a Coke or a, a Sprite, something like that, it gives you a bit of a sugar rush. You might feel great for 10 minutes or so, but then you do get a bit of an energy crash afterwards. Good old plain uh, water, very good there. In the back pocket, well, you're probably going to feel hungry during the round. You're out there for four, maybe four and a bit hours. Um, two things that I like, a little energy bar there. Again, a lot of people have a chocolate bar, Twix or a Mars bar. They tend to give you a bit of an energy rush and then a bit of a crash, something like this, slow release energy. Or we'll make up a little bit of trail mix there with some nuts, some seeds, some dried fruit, very healthy. Snack on that on the way around. Just again, keep those energy levels topped up. Then I've got my little goodie bag here. Again, use a lot of these little plastic bags that are going to keep the water out. There's an insect spray. If it's a hot day, maybe you're playing, there's mosquitoes around. Um, some painkillers might develop to pain on the golf course your back might be hurting might also be suffering from a hangover so that could be invaluable plasters perhaps you've got a blister we cut in your hand I also really like micropore tape um, you can buy it in little rolls like this it's great if you've just got a bit of dry skin or a little bit of abrasion on your finger if you don't want a big plaster on micropore tape nice and thin for glasses wearers, if it's, uh, if it's raining, you often want to clean your glasses, a little uh, cleaning lint there, keep it nice and dry in this bag. And also, if you're a laser rangefinder user, there is nothing worse than going to zap a flag and your battery's gone, so carry a spare battery with you. I think that's, uh, that's that for in there. So there you have it, a list of what I think are essentials to have in your bag. Quite a lot of things to think about there, but you know, golf, we're playing outside in the outdoors, very changeable conditions, a lot of different scenarios. It can be sunny, it can be windy, it can be raining. Uh, for me, if there's one thing that I'd say everybody should carry, it's spare gloves, because the glove is what you grip the golf club with. If you can't grip the golf club properly, you can't expect to hit good shots. But from here, from Don Pedro Victoria and the Algarve, goodbye. <laughs>